More than two dozen voters in Midland cast a ballot for the wrong Midland ISD school board candidate. The Midland County Elections Office are working to get to the bottom of the error. You, you know, it centers on specific addresses on one section of literally one street. The elections administrator says that when trustee boundary lines were adjusted in 2011, those changes never made it into the Midland County Elections Office system. Jonathan Palasek has been following this story all day. Jonathan, any word on how this fell through the cracks? Good evening, Tatum. The elections office doesn't know how or why this happened, but no matter the reason, District 1 candidate Matt Galindo says that this mistake could cost him his chance in a runoff election. 31 voters along Chestnut Avenue showed up to polling centers to vote for their choice in the Midland ISD District 1 trustee race. Instead, their ballots showed only candidates for District 2. It's definitely disappointing to know that uh, there are voters out there that weren't able to actually cast their ballot for the candidate that they felt would uh, represent them, especially in MISD when it comes to their children's education. Uh, so it's very disappointing. Uh, I, but one of the things that we want to uh, get out there is that there are 31 voters as of right now. Eight votes separate Matt Galindo and Michael Booker, which puts him out of the runoff race against incumbent James Fuller. He believes this error cost him the race and fears there could be more than 31 mistaken voters. We have voters, we have our supporters. There's there are folks that we went campaigning to, folks that uh, actually were out going out to support us, that, that called us to let us know uh, they were in District 2 and not in District 1. And so we looked at the maps. We went, I went to MISD's office. County leaders believe they've identified the issue. When the boundary lines were adjusted in 2011, a group of addresses were not updated in the Midland County Elections Office system. Elections Administrator Carolyn Graves says the issue is corrected for the runoff election. Galindo says that's not good enough. It's disappointing, and like I said, it's disappointing and un unacceptable. Uh, the idea that we just say sorry and and move on is is not is not gonna uh, is not good enough. We're going to continue to, to fight this. We're going to continue to make sure that every vote counts because every vote does count. And with the race as close as it was, Galindo says his next step is contesting the election. And we're speaking with the Secretary of State to also get more information on, on the steps that we can take. We do know that you know this is going to take uh, time, money, and, and, and but I think it's worth it. It's worth it. This is bigger than an MISD board election. This, these are about uh, disenfranchising uh, voters here in Midland. Now, we spoke with the elections office, the Midland County attorney and Midland ISD, who say they all believe that the uh, that this problem is only located along Chestnut Avenue, impacting 31 voters. However, they all say that they are going to continue to look for any problems that may arise from this. Tatum, back to you. Jonathan, thank you. You know, there have been four school board elections since the trustee boundary lines were updated in 2011. Five, if you count the most recent race. Now, before this election, the District 1 seat, the one that's in question right now, at least with voters, was up for grabs in 2016.